What's up guys, David here and welcome to the FitPro Daily. This week is all about changes and things that came from the lockdown that we had last year. And we started off yesterday with Sean Thompson coming on to share a little bit about his own personal self-development and how lockdown itself really transformed and changed his fitness business from being offline to online. Today, I've got the five things that we changed here at DKNI Fitness to make sure that we could keep moving forward and keep growing because the month before lockdown happened, we had our best month ever. So when lockdown really did land, it really kind of threw us off course. But coming out of it, we've had to change a few things to make things even better and to keep moving forward. Anyway, let's dive into these five things. Okay, so like I was just saying, the month before lockdown happened, we had our best ever month at DK9 Fitness. Each month, we were growing and growing and growing. And the model we set up or we had running back then worked really, really well. But there was a load of things we always had in the back of our mind, things that we wanted to change, the way we wanted the studio to look, things needed to be updated and moved forward. And then obviously, lockdown came and shut us all down. Now, when we moved into lockdown, it challenged us. All of us as fitness business owners, not just me, it challenged every single body. And like Sean Thompson yesterday, he moved from offline to online. And now he's got a super successful online fitness business going from there. But for us as studio owners, we had to adapt. We had to do a number of things to keep our clients involved. But when we do or when we were able to reopen, we changed a number of things to help make sure that if lockdown ever came again or rules had to come in again, we would still be able to stay open and we wouldn't have to make massive differences, but also things that really helped scale and move our business forward. So these five things that I'm going to talk about now, I'm going to cover, a lot of them kind of intertwine between each other, but I'm just going to list them out in a one to five order just so you have a clear understanding of some of the things that we did. Okay, so the first one was the staff setup. Previous to lockdown, we used to have two staff working at the same time. So we used to run two different models. We used to run team training and small group. And we'd have two staff running all the time. They'd do the early morning shift, they'd go home, and then they'd do the late evening shift. So they even did split shifts themselves. So one would be working on one side of the gym, the other one would work on the other side of the gym. And it was kind of carnage sometimes, especially when we had 15 in one and six in the other. There was just clients everywhere, equipment everywhere, and it was kind of a bit of a mess. So the number one thing or the first thing we changed, or one of the first things that we changed when we did reopen was the staff setup. Now, instead of staff doing split shifts, we now have two staff working, one staff does the morning shift, one staff does the evening shift. So staff or uh, the staffing setup was one of the things that we changed. Okay, number two. Now, the second thing we changed is we came away from having two different pricing models. So like we mentioned earlier, we used to have a, a large group or team training, and we had a small group, which was a smaller class of six to one. And the issue was with that, it made it difficult because certain people kind of wanted to switch from one to the other or do a couple of months in one then switch back to the other. And when people coming in, we had to kind of sell them onto different programs the pricing and it wasn't really easy it wasn't really scalable it wasn't more predictable was the word moving forwards so we had two or three different prices you could do two sessions here you could do unlimited three sessions here and unlimited and it just made it a little bit easier or more, more difficult to really have a predictable income so the second thing that we changed was the pricing model. Now you come in on the six week program, it's 189 for the initial six weeks. Then you move on to £97, which is three seven a week or £117 a month, which is unlimited sessions a month, uh, a week. Yeah, so nice and easy like that. So 189 for the six weeks and it's 97 for three or 117 for unlimited. So the second thing that we changed was the pricing setup. OK, so the third thing that we changed was the actual business model. And we've mentioned this a few times in the last two. So before we used to have team training, which was a group of 15, and we used to have small group, which was a group of six. Now, the issue was the small group always became super popular. A lot of people wanted to do more of the weightlifting stuff, lifting the heavy weights rather than doing the hit style circuits, body weight and stuff like that. So we took all that feedback in. That was pre-lockdown. And this is one that or this is the third thing that we did change moving out of lockdown was now we did 12 in one and 12 in the other. So we did 12 doing team, smaller weights, more hit circuit style setup. And in the strong, we now have 12 people in it. Again, it's not the same as small group people. PT because that was a lot more slower, a lot more uh, organized, a lot more written down, a lot more really lucked into. Now it kind of is a circuit or a hit or again, the, these type of models just work whatever 
whatever works for you, but it's a lot more focused on lifting heavier stuff. Again, correct technique, taking our time going through them, but we had the two main differences now. Both classes are 12, one strong, one's team. So that was the third thing that we changed. Okay, the fourth thing that we changed was a little bit different. This came out of the actual lockdown itself. So when the lockdown happened and we were allowed to reopen, they were really pushing that all the equipment had to be cleaned after every single session. Previous to that, what we'd do is they'd come in, they'd do their couple of sessions, then they'd clean the whole gym down and then they'd go home. Now the downside to doing it that way is the, the clients never actually saw any equipment get cleaned. Yeah, the gym was always clean. They'd probably come in and realize the gym was clean but they never actually saw anything get clean so now and this is something that we're definitely going to carry on moving forwards is whenever they finish their sessions they spray and wipe down, wipe down a few of the bits that we need them to wipe down and we wipe down and clean everything else so they see the equipment and everything else get cleaned after every single session so they're always seeing the gym get cleaned all the time instead they just walk in and it's generally lux clean, but they never saw anybody cleaning. So the fourth thing that we really did change was making sure clients now clean after every single session. Okay, the fifth and final one. Again, this wasn't something that we had planned, but lockdown and reopening forced it to happen. And it's something that we're definitely glad that we did make that change. So remember in that first one, we were saying we'd have groups of 15 and groups at 16 working at the same time and they were kind of all over the place. Back when we used to do this, we also had to have sessions run back to back to back. So say we do an eight, six o'clock session, we then do a 6.45 session and then we do a 7.30 session. So sessions would literally go back to back. Staff would have no breaks. Clients didn't really have a chance to chat with anybody because they were almost in and out lockdown came we got to reopen and now they wanted the air to be circulated they wanted little breaks in between this was all kind of the government stuff so this is what we did so now we put 15 minutes in so in the mornings we run on the hour 45 minutes with a 15 minute break in the evenings we run on the half hour again 45 minutes with a 15 minute break and that 15 minute break helps both the staff member and the client the client gets to come in a little bit earlier have a chat if they need or they get to stay a little bit later and have a chat if they need to do some stretches have a bit more of an easier relaxed gym that they can do a little bit more just before the next session comes in plus it gives time for the staff to maybe run to the toilet have some food have a chat with the client do some phone calls or text messages, do whatever they need to do to relax before they move into the next busy session. So those are the five things that we changed or had to change or were forced to change with coming out of lockdown. And these five things are the things that we're going to keep moving forwards because it really helped us scale and get back to previously where we were and really kick on and move forward. I hope that gives you an insight into what we did. And if you did something similar, great. If you want to take some of those ideas, even better, really please roll with them. I'm going to speak to you all tomorrow. 